it was a family club, you know, community club. Everyone chipped in, done their bit. Um, and, you know, I mean, at that age, it's all about enjoying the football. And I think, you know, all the coaches I've had through the years, like, just helped you enjoy football. And I think when you're enjoying your football, you're, you're playing at your best. You know, you're confident, you're playing your best. But um, oh, yeah, that's, that's the main thing. I think when, when coaches kind of let you go and enjoy your ball, you know, other you're going to stand out and other clubs are going to want you. Hence why, like, all the young fellas you named there, you know, Arnold Derry, you've got the lap, you've got we Shane McNamee, you've got Conor Gormley in there, and now you've got me, Barry and Tony, who are, are obviously in the senior teams, you know. Um, but, um, no, Swally, Swally's always been a good club, like, so um, when I get back to Donegal, I always try to catch a game or two and um, see how they're doing. Uh, it's very much a, a football town, Rebelton is. Do you think that plays a part, the fact that it's not really competing that much with the GAA club, because... I know there are some people from Melton that go down and play for Milford GAA, but most of the players at underage under level in Melton stick to the football essentially. Oh, I say majority of them would be would be more the more the football rather than the guy. You know, I know a few boys now who would go down and play guy Melford, but like I was never one for guy myself. I think I might have played it once in secondary school. You know, just to probably get out of class sort of thing. But I was never ever interested in the look at all. I think that's just. Even my dad, he he never he never had an interest. I mean, like, no, it's nothing against Gaelic. Like, you don't hate the sport or whatever like that. They would just never never had an interest in playing it. You know, it was, it was football mad. You know, my house and uh, so I was brought up around football. So my dad just kind of leaned me towards the the football side, and and I didn't really bother going near the football or going near the gas. Sorry, but um, I think it's as I said before, there's more majority I'd say playing football rather than gas, but there still is. Still, as a few boys now who who head down the Mount but sure. Look, if you're young, it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're playing sports, you know, and you're liking it, that's that's all that matters. Yeah, and uh, just going away from Swilly for a minute and looking ahead to this season. Uh, so you finished seventh last season. What is the aim this year? Is it again to remain on sa- in safety, or is it to to push for Europe, or what? What's a realistic uh, goal for Sligo Rovers this year? Uh, like, like I said before, you know, the last two seasons were very disappointing um, from a club's perspective. You know, we were down around the relegation zone. But, um, you know, this year, Liam's kind of come in. He hasn't, he hasn't like, put anything on us. You just have to get here. You just have to do this, do that. He's just kind of said, you know, these are all good players. You know, I'm building a squad here, whatever. He said, just go beat what's in front of you. You know, it's an old cliche, but all you can do is beat what's in front of you and kind of see where you are at the end. So the team, you know, we sat down and spoke, and we haven't put a put a marker on anything yet. You know, it's, it's always good to maybe let the season flow in a wee bit, and then you can kind of say, right, well, we need to get here, or you know, we're happy here, or you know, one more one more big push to get there, or whatever. But as for now, it's just um, beating what's in front of you and and going and enjoying your football. And long term goal for Kyle Callan is it to stay with Sligo Rovers and possibly get a move to a bigger club in Ireland or is it to still push for uh, to go across the water? You know, um, as I said there the, um, a minute ago, you know, it's enjoying your football. If I'm enjoying my football, you know, I'm happy. If I'm enjoying my football, um, I'll be playing well. So if I get interest from bigger clubs in Ireland, you know, happy days. If I get interest from clubs in England, you know, happy days as well. But I've got a family to look after now, and you know, family, family does come first, you know, to me. So I have to make sure, sure my missus and my son's happy as well. So um, just enjoying the football, and if an opportunity to go back to a higher league in England comes, you know, it's, it's that's what my my agents are there for to, to talk to me and, and help me out what's the best move for me. Perfect. Best of luck with the coming season. Thanks, my dear, and speak to you later. Goodbye.